Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Kevin. Today we're shooting the CZ 457 Varmint MTR. I'll give you a quick rundown of why I'm here, how I got here, and what this video is about, I guess. Um, since I've owned this rifle, it has not shot the way that I wanted it to, nor the way I think it should be shooting. So I got out here Saturday with seven new lots of Ely Match ammunition. Shot those through it, couldn't get it to group the way I wanted it to. So I got really frustrated, deleted all my video, put the gun in a safe, and I made up my mind I was just going to put it off till after squirrel season and start back over next year with this one. And I decided I would take it back apart and I was going to retorque the barrel screws, which I did this evening to 30 inch pounds. Um, I've got the action screws torqued to 30 inch pounds and I put my Timney trigger from the other gun in this one. So we're going to start today with contact, some of the cheapest stuff they, they make, and see if we can find the sweet spot for this gun and get it to group in the way I want it to. And then maybe we'll start chasing some ammos then. So y'all stay tuned and we'll see how this goes. And hopefully this will be a one and done and 30 inch pound is the magic number, but we'll see. All right, guys, I got a few rounds through the barrel just to make sure I wasn't going to shoot my camera. Um, I've got my I've got my phone sitting really close to the dots. So I wanted to make sure my left and right was good. So we'll go ahead and throw some groups down there and see where 30 inch pounds gets us. First five aren't too bad. I can say for sure that they're better than it was shooting Saturday. Shaping up to be a nice little group with some cheap ammo. I think that's five. We'll move on down to the next one. Now this little magazine right here, it's probably going to stand the last round straight up. So this will probably, I'm going to try to make a 10 shot group. It'll, it'll probably turn into a nine shot group.
It's opening up a little bit. That was 10. Here we go. That should have been it. All right, guys, we're going to get this video closed out. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch the video. Uh, I want to apologize for the noise behind me. I it didn't even dawn on me when I set the camera up. We've had a lot of rain the last couple of days, and the spillway's running, so it's probably pretty noisy there. I'm sorry about that. I didn't even think about it, or I would have done a voiceover for this video. But nevertheless, um, I'm encouraged by what I've seen today. The groups have tightened up to what they were Saturday. Uh, they were just absolutely terrible Saturday, and I was really, really discouraged Saturday, but I'm, I'm feeling better about the gun. I'm gonna run some better ammo through it, some higher quality ammo, and see if the groups continue to tighten up. Um, if you have a stock 457 Varmint MTR with a stock barrel, uh, let me know in the comments what you've got your barrel screws and action screws torqued to. I might try that if I don't get the results I'm looking for out of this. Uh, but anyway, um, I want to thank everybody for the support. The channel's really grown uh, the last month or two, and it's, it's pretty exciting. There's a lot of you guys watching the channel, and you know who you are. You're not subscribed to my channel, but you, you watch some of the videos. So if you enjoy what I'm doing, just reach over there and hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And somehow, some way, it does help the channel. I don't know how all this YouTube stuff works, but, but it does help the channel out. So anyway, thanks again, guys, for the support. Thanks for watching the videos, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.